What's up guys, and welcome to the Trash Tag YouTube channel. If you don't mind, go ahead and click that subscribe button, the like, and all that good stuff. It helps the video out, doesn't cost you anything, all that good stuff. Now, let's get into what the video is about. So, Haggard Garage. What happened to it? Where are they at today? Things like that. What do I know? And what am I willing to tell you? So, Haggard Garage started out. Um... Some stupid kids in Maine. I think it was Maine. Last time it was. It was up there somewhere. Sounds like Maine. I might be wrong about that one. I'm willing to admit that. Um, right about the like 15, 16, 17 year old range. Um, started posting videos about car stuff. Building cars, Miatas, stuff like that. If you don't know who uh, Hager Garage is, this probably, video probably doesn't pertain to you. Um, moving on. Main uh, guys that were there were uh, Orion. He ran the channel. Um, you had Rice and Miata, Rudnick, um, Cam. Man, I can't remember that guy's name. Uh, Grillo. Grillo. Um, but whoever they had on the video at the time, basically. Um, so Orion was running the videos, and I don't think anyone else knew or understood the YouTube thing. They didn't care. It didn't matter. And that was one of the things that was so appealing to the... Of... What was so appealing of the videos is that it was just, like, legit. It was just real friends hanging out, making videos, and having fun. And, like, it came straight through the videos. I don't even know if you can find these videos anymore. Um, stuff that, I don't know, I didn't do enough research beforehand. Um, so, several years ago, um, Rudnick... Rice and Miata. His channel's up, Rice and Miata. Um, he started seeing that Orion was making money with the YouTube thing. He had a job, wasn't, uh, started falling out of the videos a little bit, and saw that there was money in it, started making his own channel, his own videos. Yeah. So, as he made his own channel, you'd see him fall more and more out. Um, him and Orion kind of had a falling out there. Um, I think Orion saw the value in having Rednick on the channel and reached out, tried to get him to, like, come back. But at that point, Rednick was just done. Um... I'm not exactly sure, like, what happened between them there. I know they had some past, uh, previous stuff. I think it was mostly just, um, he didn't agree with how Orion was running the channel and doing things. And I don't think that's anything to knock Orion about, because they were kids, like, 19 or something at this point. I mean, you start making money, I mean... Who does the money belong to? It's a whole group of friends. Like, yes, it's Orion's channel. I get that. Not addressing that. But, like, how do you fairly spend spend it? How do you fairly dis distribute it? Uh, I agree it was Orion's channel. But how do you make everyone happy? And the truth is, you can't make everyone happy. Um... So, right in that time frame, in my opinion, um, you saw Orion move a couple times, and then um, Orion opened the Haggard house, where he just invited all his friends to come over and, you know, do car stuff. They were producing a lot of videos back in the day right then. Um, they had the vans, and they had the drift cars, and I mean, just stuff. Stuff. 
it's a little bit sad to think about, honestly, because it was so entertaining. I, I liked watching the, the kids doing the stuff and, like, you know, just being friends. But then I, it seemed like money just tore them all apart. Um, but life goes on, and you lose, you know, those contacts and things, and it happens when you're growing up. Um, you don't always get to be friends with the person that you grew up with, and life changes. Um, but a, uh, Rodney's got his own channel. He's, I think, doing pretty good at it at that point. Um, he's starting to buy cars. He's doing his own his own thing at that point. Um, I don't really think Dan's relevant in this story. Um, there was a guy, Dan. He showed up for a little bit. Left, had his own channel. Everybody hated him. I don't really know why. I don't. I think it was all a misunderstanding of some kind. I'm not really voicing my opinion on it. It's old news. Um, but then Haggard Garage seemed to like start falling apart, like the group. And the last one to go seemed to be Cam. Um, uh, Orion and Cam seemed like they were like the closest friends, or like Cam seemed like he was closest to uh, Orion to me, in my opinion. Um, and something happened there, and there's, Cam wasn't as verbal about it, so mostly what I think happened was just, I don't want to say mismanagement of money, but it was all about money. It was all jealousy of money or something, and part of what I wanted to say in this video is that if they would put their pride aside, if they, if Orion and Rudnick would... Quit being butthurt about something stupid, because I'm pretty sure nothing, it's nothing of real significance, whatever their issue is there. I think that getting back together, even if it's not, like, full-time, but, like, for a video or something, I think would be profitable for them. Because I think I would watch it, and I think all the OG Haggard fans would watch that. Today, the Haggard Grudge... Whoa. The Haggard Garage channel is, man, if I can hold on to the camera, the o Haggard Garage channel is Life OD, or Factory OD, it's Factory OD, um, and uh, Orion, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name, but his initials are OD, um, which I think is kind of ironic, I don't know what he was trying to say there, the Life OD part, he had that for his channel for a little bit. And I kind of feel like, because OD oftentimes, like, means after death, so, like, was he saying, like, life after Haggard Garage, life after death? Proving that uh, Haggard Garage wasn't the death of him? I don't know. We're going to do another video just on Orion, but, I mean, Orion was never my favorite character. Uh, I want to call them characters, and that's really difficult not to say. Because you watch TV today, and you have characters. Well, I mean, TV ever. But YouTube is so different than TV. It's the realest of real reality. And some is fake, and some's not real. And, but it's real people, real names, real stuff happening. More so than even reality TV. Reality TV is scripted TV. Most vloggers don't script their day. They have a, like, outline, a plan of what they're doing, but it's not scripted. So, when you have YouTube stuff going on, people fighting, people breaking up, people doing whatever, it's real. Like, real, real. Um, that's real life. That's actually happened to somebody. And you have to keep that in mind. And when you have breakups and you have friend breakups or relationship breakups, either one, this is real life, and commenters kind of need to stay in their own place. They need to leave these people alone and let them sort it out for their real life, in my opinion. Am I right? I don't know. Am I wrong? Who knows? Um, Adam LZ, um, I think he was married to Nicole. Wasn't a real big follower of that channel. Um, they split up, and like... It was just Nicole gone, and they had to stop and make a video and was like, hey, this is what happened, 
I'll leave us alone. In my opinion, let them be who they're going to be because you're, you aren't going to help them. If that makes any sense. I, I'm not going to help them. They have to figure it out. And, I don't know, is that like the epitome of a just what this video is saying about I think that Hagrid Grouch should get back together? Probably. Can uh, YouTubers be hypocrites? Absolutely. Um, I think that's what I had to say. Um, I don't know. It it spans like nine years or something. Let, let's see. He was five to seven years or something. Um, is the Hagrid Garage life till today? And trying to like encapsulate that all in. 12 minute video is a little difficult um, a lot of little things happened a lot of things happened on the air some things didn't happen on the air you know air being videos um, some things were aired on social media um, obviously I can't follow all their social media platforms so I mean I'm sure something was posted here or there there's all kinds of little tidbits all over the place I mean there's probably whole years that I don't even know about. But I think that I'm an OG Haggard fa uh, Watcher fan. And I mean, I think there's few out there that's more OG Haggard than me. Um, and it's sad, uh, in my opinion, that they couldn't work it out. They couldn't get past it. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and all that good stuff. Now I'm all like, you know, up in the feels.